Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the long-awaited Q&A video. I took to social media, I asked you guys what questions you wanted answers from, and you guys sent me a few, so I'm gonna just dive right into this. I took notes of everybody's questions, so I will um, try my best to answer them to the best of my abilities. Just bear with me. Um, okay, so first question, what motivates me? Okay, so what motivates me? Waking up every day in the morning and knowing that, you know, I'm still young, 27, turning 28 this year, I need to get my goals fulfilled. I need to continue to strive to achieve those goals. And I sort of, I do it for myself, but I also have a little guy, my son, Michael, so I have him to sort of motivate me. So every morning I wake up, he's super cheery sometimes. <laughs> I used to be a morning person um, and then I kind of like had this like dark phase in high school and I was like not a morning person and then I it came back to me when I had my son when I turned like 21 22 it came back to me for sure um, but anyways motivation it comes from your everyday experiences it comes from the people around you it comes from you know what you submerse yourself in you know read books you know, if you're looking online, be productive. Look at inspirational stories and people that, you know, are doing things with their lives and actually, you know, are working to have that footing in the door to be a better person. Um, motivation for me just comes from my everyday experiences and the fact that I know that I have places that I want to be. So I'm not going to stop until I achieve my goals. So I have to like wake up every morning and remind myself, girl, you got to get this day going. You got to get on your feet and just continue to strive. So hopefully that answers that question. How do you balance motherhood and having a successful entrepreneurial career and creative career? Okay, so balance is not easy. Success doesn't happen overnight. I don't believe that I'm at a level of success exactly where I want to be, but I know that I've been working hard and I've been putting in time and I'm going to continue to do so. And I know that balance is not easy and, you know, being a mom and trying to have a life and trying to work and, you know, make the time for things such as this video, you literally have to map out your days and sort of, I know spur of the moment is super exciting sometimes, but when you have a kid, you have a job, you have creative endeavors that you're trying to fulfill to maybe one day be your full-time job, you kind of just have to have a game plan. You can't just wake up in the morning and wing your day. Like it's just, it just doesn't work that way. I mean, spontaneity does happen every so often, but I find that I really have to, I have to ask for help if I need help. You know, I, I'm fortunate enough to have my family by my side. Um, you know, I currently do still live at home, but my goals are not to be here forever. I definitely want to be independent and living on my own. I've always been that independent woman growing up. So, I mean, balance has always been a thing that I've tried to maintain, although I haven't aced it and I'm still not acing it. Um, you know, there's some moments where it's like, shoot, Martina, you know what? You are going out too much. You need to focus more on being at home and allocating some time, allocating, not allocating. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, um, allocating some time to, you know, your creative side. Sit down, write that post for your blog. Do it before you make plans to go out, before you go to the mall. Do it in the morning before you go to work. You know, do it as soon as you get home. And essentially being a mom, it's a full-time job. It doesn't just stop. So you kind of just have to take everything for what it is and you go day by day, but sort of be calculated about it. So that's my best aim for balance between motherhood and balancing, you know, a career and a life, but um, it's not always easy. Who inspires you and how do you stay inspired? Who inspires me? Um, when it comes to fashion, Virgil, Off-White, crazy. I love his edge in terms of street style and how he just brings it to you know classy women's wear handbags shoes the jimmy choo off-white collaboration was crazy the nike off-white collaboration was phenomenal um, last year i'm excited to see what's next um, i think they just dropped a few looks uh, recently you know so someone like him all the way down to on instagram there's you know women i follow and it's like mariana hewitt mirtha michelle 
she has a great curated page, but she's also a poet and I love her words. Um, <clears throat> Beyonce is my spirit animal so you know I look to her and like I see I kind of am really like nitpicky so I'm a little bit OCD so like I love when people have super curated Instagrams and I'm not there but I'm really trying to get there um, with my creative side to pull that into my own personal brand um, and when it comes to writing I also look to like RH Sin, J Ironward <clears throat> on Instagram, Ruby Carr, uh, who else? Charles Bukowski and his twisted writing. <laughs> um, so the likes of those people, especially because I do love poetry. How do you stay inspired? I stay inspired by continuously, you know, being online and being in the know with, you know, different creatives and people that are doing things and people that are motivated and that, you know, work every day to make the best of what it is that they're doing. So I just, I continue to search and read up on people and read books and, and, just gain knowledge so it can in turn help me be a better me. So that keeps me inspired for sure. Okay, where do I get my fashion tips from? Instagram, literally just anytime I see an outfit for inspiration, something that I like, something that I wanna replicate, something that might be way too expensive, but if I can find it cheaper somewhere, I know I'm gonna replicate that look. I just save all those photos, do, 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 have my inspiration board. Um, and it's a wrap, so that's definitely where I get my fashion tips from, is uh, Instagram. Okay. <laughs> what do you look for in a man? This is a great question. Um, I think it's an important one uh, to ask yourself, uh, to know, to be aware. <laughs> so, thanks for the person that asked me this. Uh, but anyways, I look for somebody that has a drive, um, who wakes up in the morning and has a passion for something and can teach me something. That's so important to me because I feel like when I have people in my life, I wanna be inspired by them. And that sort of moves me when they have something that they aspire to and that they you know, are building towards or that you know, excites them or that gets them going and that makes them tick. That really inspires me. It makes me wanna work harder and be a better person and you know, learn the likes of them and sort of be submersed in their lifestyle too right so that's really really important i look for loyalty i look for honesty someone who can make me laugh you know that compatibility factor is so important um that's the main important thing to me like can we hold a conversation can that conversation you know last days can we hold a joke can that joke last days can we well holding a conversation in lasting days. I mean, just can we continuously have conversations that, you know, get past, hey, what are you doing? How was your day? Like, just the bare minimum is not enough. But if somebody can really get you going and get you thinking and open up your mind, that's so important. And I love that in a man so much. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. What are your tips on having self-confidence? Self-confidence is definitely something that I've grappled with um, growing up in my years. But my tips on having self-confidence is really taking the time to get to know yourself. Get to know your body internally. Get to know, you know your strengths and your weaknesses because if you can point out your strengths and your, strengths and your weaknesses, you can sort of combat you know, the weaknesses before they become an issue to you, before they sort of hinder you from you know, accomplishing a goal or, you know, being lazy about something. So if you, <clears throat> sorry. So if you know what your strengths and we strength and weaknesses are, you can be more confident in yourself to you know conquer these um, barriers that you may face. So sorry, I talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> um, okay. Also, self confidence is self love. You know, before you can really love other people or sort of exchange, have, you know, genuine, humble, nurturing exchanges, you really have to find inner love uh, for yourself. And that's so important. So if you can master that, then that will really boost up your confidence because self-love is so important to your confidence. Um, you know, you may not always have the greatest day. You may not always feel beautiful. But what are ways that you can you know, just sort of elevate yourself and make yourself and go out of your way for yourself to feel confident, to feel beautiful, 
to feel loved. You kind of have to wake up every morning and have these reaffirmations of self and just tell yourself, I am bold, I am beautiful, I am smart, I'm strong. You know, all these beautiful things about yourself, speak them into existence. You know, look in the mirror and tell yourself that you are strong, you got this. You know, if you're having a bad week, well, it's okay. You're gonna have better days and you're gonna work towards it. That's so important. Okay, how is you so beautiful? <laughs> Okay, thank you to the person that asked me that. How often do I go to the gym and what's my routine? I actually just completed a fitness uh, class today, Fitness by Jack Flash, Jacqueline Genovese. Um, I think that it's important to go to group sessions, especially if you can't motivate yourself to go to the gym. Um, I try and do home workouts. I started the eight-week um, workout by Katia. Got through my first week got sick with the flu the next week and then sort of put it off but I'm gonna hop back on there's no excuse but I do do some home workouts I have a mat I have a few weights and I just make it a point to at least try and be active like I find my life gets so busy but to try and be active a few times a week what's my routine I really like to focus on my core my abs which is not that strong but it's something that I need to work on and bum exercises because I don't know I I find that I just want it to be nice and toned but it's not there it's squishy <laughs> ah, so I try I try my best um, what is your favorite food I love Mexican food I love Italian food I love Asian food I love food <laughs> I love food I'm a foodie um, sushi mm like rice and chicken with like mushrooms and oyster sauce. That was my favorite dish that my mom used to cook me growing up. Breaded chicken, breaded veal, chicken parmesan, cheese, which I'm a little bit feeling lactose intolerant these days, but mm, can't resist. Mm -mm -mm. And if I were an animal, what would I be? This question always stumps me. Always stumps me. I'm just gonna take a sip of water though. I feel like I would maybe want to be a bird just I don't know I feel like the way that they glide through the air and they're so free when they fly I don't know something about that like gasping and gliding with the air and sort of soaring through and having like a bird's eye view of everything and just being able to see from from high from low up close and personal I don't know there's something about that 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 is beautiful. It's not, maybe not the most appealing animal to be, but I think birds are beautiful. Alrighty. Well, guys, that wraps up my first Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I answered the questions to the best of my ability. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous in answering these, so they're not perfect. But thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. You can leave more questions below. I will answer them the next time, okay? Peace. Bye, guys. <laughs>